All right, guys, Good Boy 32 here. Check it out. So we're in a land far, far away, an undisclosed location. And you guessed it by the theme or the title of this video, we're going to be testing out the accuracy of this guy right here, Tula Ammo. This is their 75 grain hollow point in 223, steel case, non corrosive, bird and primed or made in Russia. So the idea here is to see if I can or somebody else can reasonably get a good group in comparison with say like the Hornady 75 grain match. So who's going to be doing the test firing today? Well, some say his bones are made from 416 stainless steel with one in seven twist and his heart is a low mass operating system. All we know is we call him the X-Ring. Here we go. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the Hornady. We're gonna have five round shot group at the top target. We're gonna burn one into the ground, five on target, and then we're gonna go and put five rounds of the Tula in the middle target and the bottom target, five rounds each. I hope everybody understands that. Now, back to the X-Ring. All right. One of the dirt. One of the dirt. First three shots were great in the pasty. The other two, ah, all right, and they were broken clean. Okay, so the idea is to, well, you could buy a thousand rounds of a 75 grain Tula. Now, wouldn't it be great if these guys would track right? Then we could have some kind of a SHT thing fan round that was better than 55 grain because 75 is always better than 55 in most cases. Here we go. The Tula. One of the dirt. Holy crud. Shotgun much with buckshot? No. Why? Is it Do all another order? one? Huh? Do another group? Do another group. Let's see what the master says. All right, of course, I wasn't behind the uh, firearm, but I figured a third-party person who actually knows how to shoot a firearm could probably give us a good assessment on what this ammo's done. Now, you guys saw the camera. I didn't see it, but Ray, X-Ring, saw what was going on through the scope. What do you think? Uh, well, the Hornady, the first three shots, from what I recall from the shot group, uh, actually held the pasty. That's okay. one-inch pasty. Then the fourth shot was actually low mm -hmm. by about half an inch or so, and then the next one was to the right at 3 o'clock. It was a decent group. wasn't a great group, but I was on when I broke that. That has a really good trigger in it. That has the Trigger Tech Diamond, I believe. Uh, put the tool in there. The tool felt a lot softer. First shot was in the pasty. The next shot was about, I don't know, two or three inches low. Then the next one was like four inches low. Then the next one was like five inches low and right. Mm -hmm. It was all over the place. Uh, personally, I would not even plink with that ammo because okay. at a hundred yards out of the elite build, I yeah. know what this rifle's capable of. Um, you've got a group there that's probably four MOAs. Maybe. Okay. So when you said, holy crud, I was hoping. No. Yeah. All right, Wrong guys. Direction. Well, that's it. Uh, Tula. 
Uh, I was going to order a thousand rounds of this stuff, and I'm glad I didn't. Uh, thank you very much, X Frame. Guys, if you're My not pleasure. subscribed to this gentleman right here, uh, you're missing out. What a great time. We're going to be doing a lot of cool stuff here in the next upcoming videos. Uh, kind of illustrate some of the things that you're going to learn in uh, one of his classes that's upcoming. Also, in conjunction, we're going to partner up and do a couple classes up there in Pennsylvania. That's going to be a lot of fun. That's going to be fun. Guys, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the X-Ring. God bless America. God bless his men, women in uniform 24-7 for our freedoms. Freedom's not freedom. I'm talking about those guys that fight for our Constitution as it was written by our founding fathers and all the neat jazz. Good old boy 32. I'm out. Thanks. Yeah, no. Dude, it's horrible.